as a band, especially after the fourth album and, and the, su the success uh, you've been having up to, up until that point, do you think about those things then for a next album uh, uh, when you started this process? Do you think, well, we need to change things up a little bit or is that kind of, are those happy accidents almost? <clears throat> um, probably a combination. You know, I think there's some happy accidents, but like um, there was definitely on this album uh, a kind of, right, we want to push ourselves and try, you know, new things and, so quite a few of the songs, you know, like Ready for the High was one of the first, well, I think it was the first song we made on the album. Um, and it was like, obviously it sort of starts with a grungy kind of riff. And then when it was, when it came to like, you know, we got to the chorus and we were like, okay, everything feels great up to here. Where are we going to go next? It would have been easy to go, well, let's just keep going with the grunge feel. But actually it was kind of like, well, what if we went from straight, you know, like a straight rhythm to a more swung kind of like this kind of thing and maybe go more like Beck or Blur Universal or um, Air or, you know, something that's a bit more dreamy that doesn't quite make sense with what's happened before. And so we started messing around and it was quite hard to get from straight to swung across one bar, but a little tambourine that changes rhythm made somehow worked. And then, yeah, it was kind of from there, then the, um, Murph started playing like the brass line on on a keyboard as a oh what about a brass solo and we were like we've never had a brass solo before let's do it you know every time it was like if we've never done this before it's getting a thumbs up so that song and then once we've done brass on that song we wanted you know often you have like themes in an album or sounds that come back and visit you again then once we had that in our heads we were like oh this could be cool to do on other songs so like wildfire worry um you know we, we we put some in we didn't want to put it everywhere but you know there were a few moments where it made sense and um that really helped yeah give it a certain color and then same with like in wildfire like we had the song going and it was a bit like talking heads david Byrne sort of stuff and then for the middle eight section we were like well we could have a middle eight that's you know with lyrics and stuff, but there's so much has been said already in the verses, like maybe it just wants an instrumental kind of thing. And then Murph just went, what about just going like full on Tron? You know, the <laughs> Tron soundtrack by Daft Punk. He listens to that in his car all the time. He's like, what, do, what about Tron? So we just turned on some arpeggiators and we all started playing like, and it went into this weird world. And then like the arpeggiators carried on into the last bit. And we were like, how the fuck does this work? But somehow it makes sense. You know, it just, it felt right. Um, and so, yeah, we did that for quite a few songs. We, we tried to pull the rug, you know, from underneath the song as much as possible um, at the right moments. And obviously there were some songs that we made that it didn't quite work as, as we were hoping. And so they're not on the album, <laughs> but that's what's really fun, you know, experimenting with like new directions and new ways to take a song. And especially with, um, yeah, like I don't, Poke the Bear as well. You know, you've got this song that's just like grooving along and we could have kept it going, but then it goes to like Scott Walker kind of, 60s sounding stuff and then back and then like queens of the stone age riff at the end you know it's a bit it's probably a bit chaotic but um we wanted to have that like real remarkable like scene change you know like in a in a film or like in cinema like we love the cinematic side of music and the storytelling mm -hmm. and the imagery the imagery that you get from it and how much the music can influence the images that you see in your mind and your feelings and having that playing with that a little bit more and pushing it a bit further in, in each direction. The idea was to like, if we're going to go in that direction, let's really go in that direction. You know, let's not just have like a little bit of a, a arpeggiator underneath something else. Let's just go full on like Tron or let's go full on Scott Walker or, you know, whatever it was. Um, we tried to do that a little bit more from this album, I feel. 